Hello everyone, welcome to A Cryptic Crossword. I felt like doing one of these today, and we're back, as usual, in the New York Times archive in 2016. Working our way through that year. Um, a reminder, if you're familiar with uh, American crosswords but not cryptics, you're, here's your crash course. Uh, just like an American crossword, we have to put one letter into each square, um, but the construction rules are different. For example, as you can see, they don't require every letter to be crossed. Um, so. You know, if you, if you genuinely don't know this letter, there's no down that'll help you. Um, but more excitingly, uh, the clues are, are, are structured quite differently. Each clue gives you the answer twice, once as an oblique definition of some kind, and a second time as some kind of wordplay. Somewhere in the middle of the word, there's an invisible divider, and it's our job to figure out where that is, and which side of the divider is which half of the clue. Uh, these are substantially harder for me than American crosswords, and I've only completed, I think, two of them in my life without needing any help, but we're just working on getting better. Anyway, morning routine. So let's get started. There you go. Morning routine. It's found in a magazine. Found in. Makes me think maybe it would be like, you know, a four-letter word from in here. Like, if agaz were a word that meant morning routine, that would make sense. But I don't see any such thing like that. What if it were morning routine it's found in, and then the definition were a magazine? Could we do it in the other direction? Not really. Grow is not a magazine that I'm aware of. OK. Advice after losing company. School member is generous. Don't know. Rhode Island. Well, that's got to be R-I, right? There's no real other reason for them to say a specific state. So I think that's part of the word play, and I think the word starts R-I. Winter athlete. Is not so safe. Riskier? Yes. Someone who is not so safe is riskier, and a skier is a winter athlete. We have Rhode Island, R-I. There we go. Nice to get a start. Hurry up, then stop for novelist. Hurry up. Then stop for. I don't know. Audience tuned in. You know, let's look on the downs where we have riskier first. Husky seriously swallows head of lettuce. Well, the head of lettuce is the letter L. Although sometimes they do phrase it differently. Swallows head of could be the letter S. Right, the first letter in the word swallows, the head of it. But I don't think that's right. I think the definition is husky. And the wordplay is seriously, some word meaning seriously, and within it somewhere is an extra L. It swallowed the head of lettuce, which is this letter L. I don't know how to actually like do that though. Late bloomer cradled by my total understanding. I 
Cradled by also suggests some sort of surroundingness, right? Like some word meaning bloomer might be surrounded by whatever letters were meant to take from my total understanding. So, I mean, a late bloomer, I'm sorry, a bloomer could be a rose. And then obviously in that case, the definition would be late. But there's no room for rose to be cradled by something because it would be on the edge. Maybe there's some other kind of flower that you could fit in here. I don't know. Nothing to prevent Lucifer returning military uniform. It's two words, five and then four letters. Now, returning is a pretty strong hint that we're writing something backward. Lucifer presumably is devil? And I guess we could write it like that, backward, right? Lucifer returning. Olive something? Is a kind of olive is a color they use for like military, not exactly camouflage, but it's a color that tends to blend in with things. Olive something. I think this is right. You know, it doesn't have to be olive. Oh, no, but nothing this is the letter O. Yeah, and if military uniform is the definition, then we can have nothing and then written backwards to prevent Lucifer. We have devil here, and so we need something here that means to prevent, but written backwards. I'm not sure. Uh, did we, did we give up on this one already? Yeah, and over here? Expert involved in exploit was rebellious. Expert pro? And then expert is involved in exploit. Uprose. If you were rebellious, you uprose. And exploit means use. Okay, good. Still not enough letters over here. Audience tuned in following six pictures. Pictures. Six pictures. Hmm. Don't know. Girl with a ball. With a ball. Girl with a. Ah, a gal is a girl. With an a, it would be a gala, which is a ball. See, at first looking at this, I was like, okay, girl is probably a definition, and with a ball is somehow the wordplay, but... You want to make sure to challenge that somehow and see if you can find some way to break things up that makes more sense. Okay. Noted laughers laugh about desire. What 
Well, a lap is a ha. And if it were about desire, it would be around something meaning desire. Hyena. A yen is a desire, and a hyena is a noted lapper. Nice. Um, I guess we could work off of this A before we move on. Trendy, beloved princess's state. Uh, don't know. Beds or hens? Now, in an ordinary crossword, this would be coops. There's really no other choice. Or maybe nests. But here, that's clearly not the case. Beds. Beds four? Or hens? Layers? Yeah, sure. Hens are layers of eggs. Um, and in a sense, beds are for layers. People who lay down in them, lie down in them. But you get the idea. OK, seems possible. And here's that letter L we were saying has to be in here. Husky. Maybe it could end with I, C, or E, D? Hmm, don't know. Beach gets ticket for deficiency. Okay. I somehow think that for deficiency might be the definition. Because beach gets ticket looks kind of like a definition, right? Or a wordplay. You put something meaning ticket inside of something meaning beach. Or a particular beach or something. And then for deficiency might be like a handicap or, or something that you, you know. A cane might be something you get to for a deficiency, right? In a way, but I don't. I don't see any specific letters I can fill in with that idea in mind. The old boat has spooky sound. Reminder of past events. Um, the old. Well, I'm betting that's ye. Right? Because they used to say ye old, right? So an old way to write the would be ye. Oh, but it has spooky sounds. So it might be like ye. And then inside of it, you have to write a spooky sound. Ugh, I don't know. Reminder of past events. Don't know. To the ear. Okay, so this is probably a mishearing clue. Daggers make an explosive sound. So what's a word for daggers that you might mishear as meaning something that makes an explosive sound? Can't think of many words for daggers, right? Knives? 
Dirks. Scalpels, kind of? Make an explosive sound. And that's a question mark as well, and I still don't totally understand what question marks mean in a cryptic. The best I've been able to come up with is that they mean that you're sort of like, um, they're playing around with the usual rule of like a, a clean split between definition and wordplay. There might be some overlap or something. An explosive sound. Huh. That woman had to get rid of her. Shed. So get rid of her is shed. That woman is she had. Okay, to get rid of her is shed. That woman had they gone to the park. You might say she'd gone to the park. So she'd uh, can be that woman had. Tossed salad lovers country. Uh, don't know. Country, not county, right? Yeah. Oration stirred New York neighbor. Okay, well, third is probably an anagram indicator for oration, which is seven letters. Ontario. Ontario? I don't know. How, I don't, I, Ontario. God, I typing while talking is sometimes hard. Yeah, that's a neighbor of New York. Individual surrounded by flipped beds is hard to get to what individual could just be one flipped beds surrounded by Well, I can't just write like B E D. This makes no sense, right? Ah, but what if another word for beds is cots, right? What if we flipped that? Um, wait. But then individual is just one? Cots. Stoic? Yeah, individual is one, and one can mean I. So an individual, I, surrounded by flipped beds, cots, is hard to get to. Someone stoic is hard to get to. Not like hard to communicate with, but hard to, you know, get under their skin, so to speak. Okay. One illegally helping a gamble. Sometimes the clues look so straightforward that I have to remind myself it's not really just like an ordinary crossword definition. One, a better? Yeah, of course. Um, one illegally helping is an a better. And a, a gambler. A gambler is a better. Okay. Cross street in France? That's right. True. Um, I always wonder sometimes if I should like pause after I get each word and give you guys like a moment to pause the video if you want to figure out why the answer is right. But I bet people usually don't want to do that, so I won't. Across, I said to myself, a cross could be just the letter T. And then TR, what could you, what's a street in France? Oh, of course, a rue. And something that's true is right. That's right, true. Pr 
president procures prison constructor. So probably constructor is the definition. And we have president, which inside of it has a prison. Carpenter. I guess that's another reason that I wouldn't want to pause after each thing, because usually I'm working it out out loud, and then I get the answer, and like much of it is spoiled if you want to treat it as a puzzle. But get it? Carter is a president, and a penitentiary is a prison. And Carter has acquired a pen. He's procured it. Um, that one, I kind of thought, okay, pen might be a prison. And it could be in the middle of something. What could you write on the outside? Oh, Carter. Okay. Actually, I saw Carpenter, and then I backtracked. Wait, what? What? What would go around the pen in that case? Carter. Yes, that's the president. Spare no expense. This must be go all out. I don't even have to read the rest of the clue, but let's see how it works. Oh, pursuing ambition. Yes, a goal is ambition, and it's being pursued by lout, which is an oath. Whoa, what? A, a one letter word is an R? Oh, yes, it is. Look at that. Rated R. About the only time in the whole world an R can be a word all by itself. Trader. Reorganized. Oh, I thought it said recognize. But no, reorganized is an anagram clue saying rearrange trader to get something meaningful for adults. Rated R. Although I guess usually we would say R rated, but rated R is still allowed. Permissible. Oh, yeah, okay, I get this one. It's El Salvador. You want to pause for a moment to work it out, and now's your chance. Okay, time up. Um, salad lovers. If you were to toss the letters in that around, you might get El Salvador. And it's the country, so there you go. Easy, right? Suffer humiliation amid great crowd this must be eat crow yes so again pause if you like but um to suffer humiliation is to eat crow and if you look amid the letters in in great crowd you see here eat crow amid them very good I read aloud facial features. Eyebrows? Yes. So, um, I read, someone might say I browse, i.e. like browsing through a catalog, but said aloud, you might think they had said eyebrows, and eyebrows are facial features. Vendor securely displays sign. Hmm. Don't know. Have I looked at this one yet? No. Was attractive to Ms. Barrymore. Drew, yes. That's easy enough if you know who Drew Barrymore is. Um, and then you just have to justify it. And if you were attractive to something, you drew it in. Vendor. Securely. I don't know. Okay, I'm... no? Oh, yes, I see. Renovated. Now just let me go back and justify it.
Okay. While I'm doing this, you guys can think it through as well. And then I'll explain it when I get there. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. No, I'm, I'm still a little bit confused. All right, so let me, let me just do this out loud now. So fixed up is renovated, I think, right? Leased houses are rented. But I'm still not totally in love with this because that list leaving with OVA, but almost shaped like an egg. Should be ovate, but I've used the T and E. Almost could tell me to remove some letters from ovate, but I thought it would only tell me to remove one. Maybe it can tell me to remove two. We have ova, which is almost ovate. I think is what's going on in that clue. To the ear, daggers. I don't know. I'm going to have trouble with this section, I think. Let's look at the downs that I haven't seen yet. We have a Y here now. Maybe total understanding is the definition. And then we could just have it end with my. Actually, cradled by my. And then we need a late bloomer that fits here. Morning routine? Morning. Oh no. Still not sure what's going on with here, although we do have this R now. And we want something that means to prevent. That's three letters long and ends with R? Bar? Yeah, I thought all of grab might be a thing, but I, I wasn't sure. But okay, yeah. Bar means to prevent, that's fine. Frank shredded shirt tag. Well, probably shirt tag is being shredded, i.e. rearranged. Do you get something meaning Frank? How would you do that? It's a little tough with no crosses. Frank can mean honest, can mean a hot dog. It's a man's name. T-R, T-H-R. Uh, let me... Oops, wrong button there. There we go. So if we have shirt tag... And if we wanted to start it with, like... Where's the G going? That's what I want to know. Grathis. Oh, maybe you could end with its. That's a good one. Or ast, for example. You could end it with ist. 
we would have left H R T A G. Thragist? Garthist? Not really. What if it were Eist? Well, now we have no vowel, so that's pretty bad. P-H-R. What if we had that in there somewhere? What would we have left? S-I-T-A-G. And what we're really saying means Frank? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave this one for now. Heavy drinker is opulent. Lush. This is just a double definition. A heavy drinker is a lush, and opulent is also lush. Still don't know this princess, I think. We do have several letters here now, though. School member is generous. Advice. It's a single nine letter word. After losing company, company could be the letter C O, and you could lose them from, say, advice. Hmm. School member. Is generous? I don't know. And that's it. That's all the downs. Great. After losing company. School member. Who is a school member? A fish. A fish is a school member. Okay. Generous could be something a fish. Unselfish. Unselfish. That's generous. Okay, what, what does the rest of this mean? So the school member is a fish. Yes, it is. See, after losing company, counsel is advice. And if that were to lose company, it would just be unsel. Very good. All right, well, now... Let's have a look at this anagram again, now that we know it starts with an S. And we're left with her tag. Straight? Is that really all it is? It is. Gosh, I didn't think straight had so many letters. Okay. And that means Frank, sure. Hurry up, then stop for novelist. Re ra ru. You could fit words in here like rescale, but it doesn't really make any sense. Re something, right? Could fit here. But I can't think of anything that like really makes sense. 
Okay, we have an eye now. Beloved princess's state. Well, that was, I mean, Diana was a beloved princess. We have an I and an A here, which is like, okay, yeah. Indiana. Something that's trendy is in. And a state is Indiana, and beloved princess is Diana. Okay. Residue? Hmm. Maybe. I mean, it's a word that fits here, but why, why does it make any sense? I don't really see it. Residue? Stop for novelist? I don't think it's residue. Just a coincidence that, that word happens to fit. Ooh, what about this down here? Shore? Is a beach? Shortage. A shortage is a deficiency, and a shore gets a ticket, which is a tag, right? Shore, sur surrounding tag, get it? Sadly, that doesn't help me with any crosses. That's one thing that's nice about the American style of everything being checked, is anytime you get a letter, it helps you with something you didn't know yet. It's not always true here. Six pictures. Audience. Don't know. How about this? Old boat. A junk is an old boat. A scow, maybe? What are their old boats? Trireme, that's an old one. Canoe? Nah. Mystery. That fits. I don't know if it makes any sense. Doesn't look like it to me, honestly. But maybe that's because I don't know about some name of a flower. I don't know. Fender securely displays sign. Vendor securely. What's with this R blank E? There's not that many letters that could go here. A C, a G. What else? Maybe an S? A V? 
So that we could um, C, D, V, and S were the only ones I could think of, I think. Okay, let's maybe take this to the scratch pad then. We have blank, blank, D, blank, R, E, like so. And what if I were to try just mentally, do any of those look particularly good? Dirt, I mean, C is pretty bad. It could happen, but not likely. And what, how could a V fit? Like, derv, darv, derv again, dorv, derv? I don't like V much either. So, G? What if we put a G in there? Vendor securely displays a sign. I don't see any signs, I don't see any vendors, I don't see anything secure. Endorse? Yeah, to endorse something is to sign it. Figure out how the rest of it makes it work. So, sign is endorse, like a check. I get that. Vendor, I see that we start with E N D O R. But what happened to the V? I don't see anything telling me to take it away. Securely, like, I guess could be S E, but I don't see why it would be. And what's with displays? I don't know, something's wrong here. I think endorse is right, but I don't understand why. So it's more like something's wrong with my understanding of the clue. Hmm. Does the E help up here? To the ear, daggers make an explosive sound. Explosive sound. Make an explosive sound? To the ear. Sneeze. That's how you make an explosive sound if you sneeze. What does this have to do with daggers? Daggers? Sneeze? To the ear. Is a snee a dagger? I'm not aware of any such thing. 
look that one up. Dagger synonym. Ooh. I typed in dagger synonym S N E and Google one of the autocompletes is sneeze. A snee, yeah, look at that. A knife, especially a large knife. A dirk. I think I suggested dirk, didn't I? Is a snee a dagger? Yes. Amazing. Okay, well, we learned something today. Reminder of past events, an emblem, a token, a trophy. You know what's a spooky sound? Boo. Put an O there. What if it were some kind of book? A reminder of past events were a book. And then I'd be looking for a boat. An old boat that looked like like uh, well not like this. We'd be removing these letters. Is this a boat? Right? Old boat. Actually, I should, uh... There's a, there's a keystroke for this, isn't there? I know I can make it all lowercase. I know I can make it all uppercase. But isn't there one for, like, title case? Upcase word. So if I were to search for oops, um, case, can't I? I don't quite understand. Case. Actually, let me try that. Case word. We only have upcase and downcase, huh? They have a prefix argument or anything? Capitalize word. Oh, but it's not bound to any keys. Okay, so this is this is what I meant to press, but it doesn't exist. Capitalize. Oh, capitalize do what I mean. Tell me what that'll do. Oh my god, I got lost. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Old boat, there you go. Well, okay. That was an interesting exercise. Not at all useful. And really, I only wanted this one capitalized. So I should run capitalized and then down case. But okay, anyway. So you want to be familiar with your editing commands, that's all. Um, it's not a yacht. Old boat. Stank. Dark. Spark? Dark. I don't know. Husky. This this could be a big important word to figure out. It's got crosses into two of the other ones we don't know. Audience tuned in. Following six pictures. And really this E in mystery is not by any means a guarantee.
audience. Don't know. Husky seriously swallows head of lettuce. I mean, I still think we're looking for a word that means husky. Where the same letters, if you put an L in the middle at this position, would mean seriously. That's kind of hard to imagine, isn't it? Well, we guess that it might end ED or IC, I guess, right? I guess it might end LY. Yearbook. Yearbook. Oops, that should be a Y. A yearbook is a reminder of past events. Spooky sound. A yerk is an old boat? Yerk. Okay. Apparently it's a musical artist, but I wanted to know what Marion Webster thinks about yerk. Yerk a word? No. Oh, God, I forgot. I knew all along the old was ye, and an ark is an old boat. Or is a boat. I just, I forgot that. I see. Okay, that makes more sense. And now this is good, because we can have LLY almost certainly here, right? Husky. I mean, it doesn't have to be an L. It could be like a T. But L blank Y as an adverb is almost always L L Y. Gravelly and gravely, yes. I kept getting stuck on Husky being a dog or like kind of heavy set, and I briefly thought about a Husky voice, but I didn't really give it much consideration. But it can mean gravelly. Okay, viewer. Viewership. Is the audience tuned in? Six pitchers? Oh, VI means six in Roman numerals. A pitcher is a ewer, and something that's in or tuned in might be hip. So in following six pitchers would be hip following viewers. Ooh. Okay. Only two left. And by the way, mystery the E happens to fit. I still don't know why. Mystery would be right. But I'm just like lost on this morning routine. It's found in a magazine. Uh, 
And this, like, if I had to guess, residue is the only word that fits here at all, right? Rusty, rusty, <gasps> rusty. That's that's a novelist's name. And to hurry up is to rush, and to stop is to die. Oh, I'm so smart. I only have these two letters left, and I could actually solve one. Morning routine. Morning. A.M. Morning is A.M. Okay. Amdu? That's not really a thing that I'm aware of. It's found in a magazine. A, B, I mean, I can just go through all the letters on this. And I think the A.M. is right morning and there's only routine is i mean it's not a do it's not a two yo not really so i'm not aware of that go not really go i don't think so no, ammo, ammo, ammo is found in a magazine. I literally scanned the whole keyboard with my eyes. I was going, nothing on the top row, nothing on the, the home row. Oh, the bottom row was looking bad, and I got to M, the very last letter, ammo. No, come on, this is right, give it to me. I want it. Okay, A-M. I don't quite understand how mo means routine, but I assume it does, because ammo is found in a magazine. All right, I'm, I'm checking this one by hand. Unselfish. Great. Must be correct. Riskier. Yes. Must be correct. Oh. Could this be mastery? Yes, total understanding is mastery. Late bloomer. Not sure yet. Cradled by my... So, Weister somehow means late bloomer? Oh, no, Aster. Aster. Aster must be a flower that blooms late. Ah, oh, my God. We did it. If, almost an hour. We got through it. Every single letter. No help. Take that, you dang crossword. You dang cryptics. Ooh, required a lot of insight to get to this one, and we learned some some new words, like snee, if you can believe it. Was that was that the word? Yeah, it was. I feel like we learned some other new ones. I still don't understand endorse really. Oh. I see. Displays was the hidden indicator. I was supposed to say endorse like that. Vendor securely displays the answer. Got it. Okay. I'm still not sure about the word tuned in this one. Is it part of the wordplay or part of the definition? It doesn't really, like, hip, does hip mean tuned in? I would have thought it just meant in, but I guess it could mean tuned in. Okay. Any good downs? I guess it's all of drab as opposed to, like, dress blues. The drab means, like, your boring uniform. I don't know. Yeah, I still don't totally understand this clue either. I guess almost, as we said, can mean like drop some letters from ovate to get ova. Hmm. 
Go all out. A better, yes, very funny. Okay. Uh, I mean, I guess the only word, new word I learned, I think, was snee. Maybe there's a brand of something I didn't know. I don't remember. Okay, well, that was that was a triumph. Real success. This was a triumph. I'm trying to remember how the, the famous Portal song goes. This was a triumph. I'm looking that up. This was a triumph. Yeah, I know. The song is still alive. What what comes after this was a triumph? Great. Oh, huge success. This is a triumph. I'm making a note here. Huge success. Very, very good. Okay. Anyway, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.